Hi, welcome back. Today uh, we're gonna dive into five quick little drugstore hidden gems. These are hidden gems to me, um, really just in the sense that I don't see people talk about them super often. Uh, one pretty new product in here and the rest are, they've been out for a while. Also, I'm gonna throw at you a pretty solid dupe for one of my all-time favorite products. Um, this is something I've been wanting to test out for a while and haven't really gotten around to comparing the two together, but finally did and safe to say pretty close dupe. So let's go ahead and start out with that one. This first product I'm about to throw at you is a pretty solid dupe. So prepare yourselves. I think some of you are going to be excited about this because, um, it's for one of my all time favorite products. Charlotte Tilbury Unisex Healthy Glow. So this is a $45 product. It is a shade adjusting skin tint or skin perfector. I've always been a massive fan of this. I love using it as a mixing medium. I either mix it in with moisturizer or with a little bit of foundation. And there's something about it that just gives my skin this youthful, healthy glow. I think it's gorgeous by itself with a little bit of concealer. It's my ultimate summer product, but $45 and it's, it's really not even a foundation. So I understand where some people don't want to splurge in that arena. It also only comes in one color that can tend to be a little too orange or terracotta on the fair skin. Also, if you have a deeper skin tone, it's really not going to do much for you. So there was always this thought in the back of my head that it reminded me of the old school Alme shade adjusting foundations. Uh, very similar concept. They come out white and then they shade adjust your skin. The only difference is the Alme ones come in a variety of different colors. And I just remember thinking to myself when I used that product back in the day, it never really offered a ton of coverage. It was always like a tint to the skin. So while I was on a leave I was like you know what I'm gonna test this theory out so I ordered the Alme shade adjusting foundation it's the smart shade skin tone matching makeup and I what I did was I actually ordered it in a shade that I knew that would be a little bit too dark for me because I wanted it to mimic more of like a bronzer so I ordered it in the shade medium and it is slightly dark on me but when you mix it in with a moisturizer or even another foundation it kind of dilutes it so I'm happy to report that this is very similar especially when you use it as a mixing medium. The big difference between the two, in my opinion, is the Alme one actually runs a little bit more on the matte side. It doesn't offer a ton of glow. So if you have a little bit more combo oily skin, it might be a little bit more suited for you. But I also really like that you can kind of pick a, a variety of shades in the Alme and get a similar finish to the Charlotte Tilbury. If you want something really, really similar to the Charlotte Tilbury and your My Skin Tone, I would definitely recommend going with the medium or possibly even the tan shade because it does lighten up significantly if you're gonna mix it with a moisturizer. So yeah, really nice soft tint to the skin, very similar, obviously comes out white, shade adjusts, and I think you do get maybe slightly a little bit more coverage with the Alme one, whereas the Healthy Glow is more of like that bronze, just tan finish. Um, there's still something really special about Unisex Healthy Glow. I I don't know what it is. I feel like it, it has a little bit more of like this blurring or trick of the eye effect where it really does make your skin look glowing and youthful. The Alme one is similar not as glowing. I would definitely say because this comes in skin tone shades, it's just a little bit different from having like a terracotta bronze finish to the skin. If you've always wanted to try the Charlotte Tilbury but you didn't want to splurge, give the Alme one a shot. I mean, it's worth it. So this is new. At least it was new on the Ulta app. And I immediately was like, yes, please would love to try. And it's the NYX Sweet Cheeks Soft Cheek Tint Blush Mousse. Or maybe... No, yeah, soft cheek tint, blush mousse. So I saw mousse and immediately I was like, yes, I love a good whipped blush cream product. And I only purchased one because, I mean, I need to tone down, I need to tone down the liquid cream blush game. And really this is the one that I thought, okay, you'll use the most. So I ordered the shade Nude Tude and 
love it. Love the formula on this. First of all, I like the packaging. It is almost like a lip gloss packaging where it has a little doe foot applicator. This is ideal for me because I love to apply my cream products on the back of my hand and then apply them with a brush or my fingers directly. I don't like just taking the wand or whatever and dabbing on my skin. So I just like the control with this smooth blendable finish on this guy right here applies really evenly um i have no problems with streaking or it uh you know disturbing the base i just love a good moussey blush formula and this one was super affordable like i said the packaging's great it comes in probably about five or six shades and this nude tude color is perfect if you're not super blushy like me you like something that's pretty skin tone pretty natural so yeah another win from nyx for me nyx has just absolutely been killing the game um, i have a lot of drugstore nyx staples and i definitely think this one is gonna be added to the list so this is something i've been using in my videos for a while now and despite always talking about it i still get questions on what it is and why it's so large. So it is my Real Techniques Miracle Face and Body Sponge. And I went ahead and bought a new one so you could see what it looks like in the packaging. This is what it looks like outside of the packaging. So you can see it covers like half of my face. Every time I use this in a video, you all either think it's absolutely obnoxious or some of you are mesmerized by it and you want to know what it is immediately. So love this sponge. Personally, I think number one, it's softer than the original uh, Real Techniques complexion sponge. Number two, it's if you want to absolutely crush your makeup game in terms of time wise, time saver, I mean, it covers like 90% of the surface volume in regards to your face. So I just find that this applies so much quicker than a regular sponge because you're essentially covering half of your face with one application. Um, I just love this. There's just something, it almost feels like really professional when I use it. Uh, I don't know why I feel that way, but I just think it saves me so much time, especially now that I don't have as much time to do my makeup. It really kind of covers all areas for me. Most of my products are cream or liquid, so this can do the job with my uh, liquid blush, my cream bronzer, my foundation, my concealer. I use this for it all. Super affordable, and if you're a sponge user, give it a shot. I mean, it's like $5.99, and you really don't have anything to lose, especially if you already like the Real Techniques uh, Miracle Complexion sponges. The bigger the better when it comes to the sponge, in my opinion. This is not technically a drugstore brand that I know of. However, it's sold at Walgreens and maybe possibly some other drugstores. I've only seen it at my Walgreens, but it's also not outrageously priced. It's kind of in that like middle grade uh, drugstore price point. Not really middle grade. I should say it's definitely on the higher end of the drugstore price point, but um, I just had to talk about it because I think especially this particular color that I have is gorgeous and I love the formula. I want to say that Allie talks about these a lot on her channel. It could be another product that I'm thinking of, but I think it's this one. Um, it's the Honest Beauty Lip Crayon, and particularly in the shade Sheer Blossom. It is the color that I'm wearing on my lips right now, but this is a really soft, creamy formula. Uh, I remember I put it on the day after I had Max, and I had not, like, I had looked pretty, pretty rough for the past few days, all things considered. Um, and I remember putting this on and just feeling like it was the most beautiful color it just kind of like made me feel really nice I don't know it just made me feel very put together and the formula is really soft creamy blendable it doesn't feel drying um, and I actually find that it provides a lot of shine to the lips which I personally love a lot of lip crayons for example um, now don't get me wrong the Neutrogena ones back in the day were like my jam but they didn't really offer a lot of shine they were a little bit more flat and sometimes they can make the lips look dry this has a lot of shine to it so really pleased by this formula this is the only color that I have but I think I'll definitely be investing in more they had some really nice great daily wear shades but again this one is called sheer blossom it's like a nice peachy coral tone 
I just stand a good lip crayon. I, I mean, I'm always down for the crayon vibe and especially when it can be like multi-purpose, really shiny, really comfortable, come in a lot of great everyday shades. It, it, it's it for me. So um, I was really pleased with this one. Last but not least, I'm coming in hot with another dupe. I definitely consider this a dupe. I've compared it to its higher end counterpart before. And it's one that I talked about recently. If you hear crazy noises in the background, I've been having to like pause every 10 seconds because Max sounds like a gremlin. He is making, I, I literally said I was going to sign him up to be like voiceover for like horror movie characters. He just makes the craziest noises. Anyways, I talked about this and its high-end counterpart in my last video and it's the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Concealer. I often compare it to Dior Forever Skin Concealer, which I love. It is a beautiful concealer. Um, this is very similar in texture. It's very similar in coverage and just overall appearance. It's a very thin, flexible formula, which I love in a concealer, but it provides a nice medium full coverage, which I wasn't expecting when I, when I first, um, started using this. I was expecting it to be more sheer and glowy. It's really not. It's kind of like it's somewhere in between. It's not really matte, but it's also not super glowy. It's, I guess I would call it more of a satin finish. And it definitely provides a good medium to full coverage. Yeah, just super flexible, lightweight on the especially delicate areas, the under eye areas. I don't find that it looks super creasy, especially at the end of the day. I am wearing it on top of the Alme today. I mean, I think it looks good, but yeah, I do find that it's super similar to the Dior uh, Forever Skin concealer, corrector, whatever. I think it's called both and uh, probably like a third of the price. I know we've discussed it's a little bit harder to find Flower Beauty, but they actually have an Amazon store and I think the concealer is in their Amazon store. Not all products are. Um, and then the website. I've had really good luck ordering from the website as well. Okay, I think that is it. The lighting is absolutely driving me insane throughout this video. In and out, in and out. Here we go. Here, here comes the sun. Then it's going to dip back out. There's nothing more that I hate than filming on days like this because I use natural lighting and that's it. And when Mother Earth comes to F with me, it's not fun because I have a wheezing kid in the background. I can't be provided with normal light for like 30 solid minutes. So I think we're going to call it quits. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed seeing some of these at recommendations. I wanted to pull out a little drugstore counterpart since we just talked about Sephora VIB. And uh, these are some things that I have been using daily. So let me know if you try them out. Let me know what some of your recent drugstore hidden gems are. I would love to know down below. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.